Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Alien RPG Core Rulebook. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this tabletop RPG based on the popular sci-fi horror franchise, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about governments and corporations, big business, big government, and big lies. Everyone answers to someone, and everybody wants to get paid. In the early 21st century, humanity stood on a precipice, caused by many a crisis. While stagnant governments were reluctant to change to meet these threats, multinational corporations headed by innovators like Peter Weyland stepped up and led the charge into the future. As Weyland, Yutani and other companies explored the stars, they established the extrasolar colonies before there was any legislation in place to govern them. Looking to the late 20th century's formation of the European Union for inspiration, the major countries of the world soon merged to form larger nations. Currently, Weyland Yutani doesn't own everything, just mostly everything. Each of the major governments and corporations are detailed in this section with their history, their military and organizations, their locations, their leaders, their relations, and their current activities. We start with the Three World Empire, the most technologically prosperous of the interstellar superpowers. The Three World Empire has established the most long-term colonies in the territories. The Three Worlds in the coalition's name refers to the Earth, Mars, and Titan the first three worlds to be inhabited by humanity. Then we have the United Americas, which is the most powerful star-faring and colonizing nation in the 22nd century. An economic and political giant in both the Sol system and throughout the off-world colonies. The military might of the UA is unparalleled. Next we have the Union of the Progressive Peoples, a socialist government that controls a vast area of colonized space. The Union of Progressive Peoples is also the most resource poor of the interstellar nations. Then we have the independent core system colonies. The ICSC is a loose alliance of worlds that have claimed independence from any interstellar governing body. While independent from each other, member colonies sell and trade resources and pay fees to be protected by corporate armed forces. Then we have the Interstellar Commerce Commission, which is an organization designed to monitor and conduct interstellar trade. They enforce shipping restrictions and biological and chemical quarantine procedures for Earth and all other colonies with a population of 200,000 or more. Next we have Weyland Yutani, of course. This corporation is a British and Japanese multinational conglomerate that dominates the stars. They are an innovative producer and manufacturer of synthetics, spaceships, computers, and weapons for the average consumer market, as well as commercial clients and the industrial military complex. Then we have the La Salle Bionational. This is a multinational conglomerate specializing in biological research and development. And then we have Sigzon, a prominent manufacturer of inexpensive alternatives to Weyland Yutani's product lines. Sigzon is a European conglomerate that will forever be in Weyland Yutani's shadow. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about systems and planets. All of the governments and corporations are highly detailed and they are all pretty much bad guys. They are always seeking to devour others, no matter the moral or ethical consequences. This could be your patrons or your enemies, depending on the campaign that you are running, but they will always have a major presence in any campaign. They have great influence and also great capacity for harm. Thank you for watching this part of the review, and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below.
This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.